Roadman Saf, aka Saf Malik. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lou Phelps. What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick. What's up? It's me, Alfie. You're hey, I'm Ezra Jordan, and you're listening to the Cool Table. Patrick, you're now listening to the Cool Table. You, know? you are listening to the Cool Table. And uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but right now you're in the cut with my man, Adriel Smiley. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Welcome to the Cool Table. Now we're in the cut with Heather Russell. Thank you so much. Now before we get started on anything else, we've got this mint ice cream in front of you. <laughs> now we tried to get you some bubble gum, bubble gum yeah. some cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Um, cinnamon, I've never even seen cinnamon ice cream before, so I'm assuming <laughs> you made that up. But, I didn't make it up. It's gelato. Uh, I think that's why. Okay, okay. Um, how long has mint been like one of your favorite flavors? And just like, mm-hmm. can you get this done before the interview is over? <laughs> mint has been my favorite, I think, my whole life. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to eat this as quickly as I can. Honestly, I got, you know what? I, it's my technique. I gotta start taking Take bigger, a big, bites. bigger bites. Bigger bites. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it though. And, and, but bubble gum is your number one. You're saying like number bubble one. Bubble gum bowl. is actually my number one. Okay, yeah, okay. and cinnamon, cinnamon is a real one. Is I'm it? gonna have to show you sometime. It's like um, it's a gelato. It's really but it, but it really exists. So you didn't make it up. No, it really okay, exists. Okay. Um, all right, listen. I'm I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> when you come back, yeah, we'll be on the search. We'll get you some cinnamon and some bubble gum, and then I'll have some as well. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you got my Metro Metropolis out now. Mm-hmm. You know that's a, your first project since 2015. Now, do you feel like a brand new artist, or do you feel like more of a seasoned veteran who's just Ooh. showing everyone what's going on? Like, wh- which which one kind of more resonates with you? I like the term. Season. I almost want to say that because it sounds super cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I just want to say that I'm a seasoned veteran, and I I feel like I am. Um, this project compared to the first one that I came out with, I'm definitely a totally different artist. And mm-hmm. I think throughout the years, what you can see from this new project is that I've grown mm-hmm. a whole lot. So, yeah, I like seasoned veteran though. But but do you? I guess do you feel like a breath a breath of fresh air in terms of? Because this is your it's your first project as an adult quote unquote mm-hmm. but <laughs> yeah but like do you do you feel that kind of that new feeling that breath of fresh air as in like you know some people might be hearing you for the first time mm-hmm. or they know you as like a kid and are seeing you grow up do you do you feel that yourself or to you you're just like you know I'm, I'm good I've been doing this no this is do definitely this. a breath of fresh air for a lot of reasons um the first project that I came out with um the journey that I had working on that project um, mm. I love and I appreciate but the difference is like with this project and that one I had all creative and artistic say with mm. this project so it's okay, a okay. representation of who I am okay 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 that's what I like you know? to hear yeah but the other project wasn't I don't think it was a true representation of who I am so it is a breath of fresh air being able to show people like this is what I do off top what do, what's your favorite song from the project like what, what song do you put on right away uh, lights off Lights off. Lights off. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's get right into it then. <laughs> on lights off, you have. I feel like you're you're spinning a little bit of bars on that one. There's oh a little, my god. There's a little bit of a, a rap flavor. I, f- I feel you on that one. Um, is there is there a secret rap album that you're not telling us about? Because I can for sure hear that you're spitting at the end of that. I love my mixtape. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no. The, the cool thing about this is this project. First of all, thank you for listening to the music. I appreciate it. No that. worries. No worries. Um. The cool thing with this project is I wanted to experiment with it. And mm-hmm. so this was kind of something inside of me that I didn't know I had. Okay. And the cool thing with like Gladiator and, and Lucas and Adrian Reza, they kind of just helped that side kind of just flourish a little bit. Okay. Um, and yeah, also to moving to Toronto back from Los Angeles, listening to, you know, new Toronto rappers yeah. and like a whole new side of music for me. like. I wanted to try something new, and I kind of—I hope it worked. I mean, no, no, it it, it, it did, it did. Like when I, when I, when I heard that that flavor on there, I was, I kind of thought to myself, why wasn't there more of this? Mm. And I, and I'm like, I'm either, I think maybe you're holding out on us a little bit. I don't know, if, I don't know if you know you're holding out, but I, I feel like there's something there that you could definitely do yeah. more of that. Yeah, I think definitely for the next project, it, there's gonna be a whole lot more. This mm. was almost just like to try it out, mm-hmm. test it out, see how it goes. Yeah, and it felt natural, so mm. I think for the next one. Okay. Definitely more of that. But light, but lights off is and um, is it last on the album because it's your favorite or is that just how the album sequenced? 
The reason why it's last is because for me, Lights Off is a special song because I feel like it represents the whole album. Okay. Um, and I feel like uh, the best way to conclude the album was with something that kind of speaks for every song. Um, Lights Off for me is a song that I actually wrote in a dream. You wrote in a dream. I wrote in a dream. Okay, tell, tell us that story. You're, you're not going to get away with that one. <laughs> It lights off, I wrote in a dream, it was, um, I was, in my dream, I went to this place, and I've visited it many times in dreams, it's like this big, like, city, which is why I call the album My Metropolis, Okay. and I realized a lot of my inspiration comes from that place whenever I dream about it, Okay. and so, in the dream, I was, like, walking through this golden city, and, like, the song, the chorus, mm. why did you turn all the, but it was playing, and I woke up singing it, I swear to God, I woke Whoa. up like, oh, why did you turn all the lights off? I was like, okay. And so I told my mom, and she was like, we well, should turn it into a song. And I brought it to Lucas and Adrian, and we turned it into something. And so that was kind of the turning point. It made me realize, okay, like this place that I have, I think, is there for a reason. Wow. I think it's going to inspire me in the future. Even wow. More. So, yeah. I like the idea of you saying that there's this city in your head. Um, yeah. This The city in your head and your dreams. Is this that city more representative of Toronto or LA? What does that city look look like in your head? Because you know that having a city in your head—that's again a fake city, but you've mm-hmm. lived in real cities. What? I that, think it's real in the alternate universe, to be honest. Real in the alternate universe. Yeah, I sound crazy. No, no, no. I, I mean, <laughs> I want to hear this. I want to hear this. I feel like okay. I feel like without realizing, subconsciously, it's like my own interpretation of Toronto. Whoa. Because I'll never forget, I went with the friend. <laughs> that was fire. That was fire. I went to uh, I went to this lookout a couple months ago, and it was like really, it was really late, and it was almost like all, like this island, mm-hmm. and we, it showed all of Toronto mm-hmm. at night, and so you saw the lake and the whole city reflecting the lights on the water, and in this place in my dreams, it's like a city on water with light that reflects, Whoa. you know. Mm-hmm. So I realized, like maybe subconsciously, this is my interpretation of what the six is to me, you yeah? know? You know, I, it sounds like your interpretation of what Toronto is might be actually better than Toronto, but, I, <laughs> but, but I'm, I have no I have no problem with that. No problem with that. Oh my God. Now, the trailer for Bye Bye, you guys kind of had that Stranger Things theme. Yeah. Are you a huge Stranger, Stranger Things fan? Love Stranger Things. Like. Who's your favorite character? Are you excited for season three? Eleven, for sure. Eleven? Yeah. I'm so excited for season, I've been waiting. I'm like constantly on Netflix waiting to see new episodes. New episodes still not there. <laughs> season one or season two? <sighs> Don't do that to me. That's you got no, you have you have to choose. You have oh to choose. I'm, I'm I'm listen. I'm asking you to choose between two things. It's not like there's like twenty seasons like Grey's Anatomy. That's true, yet. Yeah. I'm asking you to choose between one and two. That's not not that hard. You're right. Uh, I would say, guys. <laughs> <laughs> my gut. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. S- <laughs> Shoot! Um, cause each each season offered so much, you know. Each season showed you something totally different. Is there different? Uh, to me, I think it's season one before yeah. season two because season two is good, but there's a point in season two for like three or four episodes where you think, you know what, guys, this is just miscommunication. Yeah, all your true. all your problems is just miscommunication. If you guys work together, you could have done such a better job. And then, but season one is like season one is just one thing after the other. You're like, how are they gonna deal with yeah. this? Like, you know what? Yeah, probably season one. No, I'm I'm, exci- I'm excited. I'm excited for season three. I'm yeah. honestly like no word of lie. That show scares me, and I have to watch one episode at a time. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't binge watch that. Like, you didn't binge watch it? I no. I know. I I like no. Ma- maybe if I have like hours in between, like I'll like watch it at eight, and then I'll like mm-hmm. go eat and then watch it again at twelve. But yeah. yeah. The, the monsters in that show just seem like uh, they seem real. They they, they, they seem real. They really do. Not like that. Yeah. <laughs> very very scary. <laughs> um, you have a song on My Metropolis called "You Done No Fam." <laughs> now uh-huh. in the song you don't actually say "You Done No Fam" like how we say it, but <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. What? Why did you call this song <laughs> "You Done No Fam"? <laughs> okay, for a couple of different reasons. We were sitting in the studio, and Adrian, Lucas's brother, we were talking about this British show called Top Boy. Okay, yeah, I heard of it. You know <laughs> Top Boy. And so we were talking about, like, the lingo and all of that. And so Adrian was talking about, like, all these terms, like, you don't know, blah, blah, mm-hmm. right? And so 
he starts like beatboxing out of nowhere like I'm not gonna even try to beatbox but he starts beatboxing mm -hmm. and I still have the voice memo and this like this idea came to me where I took like I guess his words and I kind of just started singing this melody like you don't know mm -hmm. right and then it just kind of naturally turned into something you know wow. and I, to be honest though I think the reason why I didn't say it the way it said in the song was because at the time like I thought the term was super cool but I just moved back still oh so you didn't ha you didn't have it down packed what are you trying to no. say no you know so I remember like in the studio I'd be saying like you don't know <laughs> and, <laughs> and Adrian would come up to Adrian be like Heather it's you done know <laughs> okay so let's you, you have it now like let's let's hear uh no okay you done know you fam done know. you done know what <laughs> The yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, oh man. I was no, I was so excited to even see that the song was called that because, like, you know, we've all, we all grew up in Scarborough. That's something we've been saying for years, for yeah. years, and like, just just to see that somewhere, incredible, incredible. <laughs> Thank you. You said that you know you wish you had the ability to teleport. Yeah. Where do you, where do you want to go? Where do you want to teleport to? What would you what would you use that power for? For me, one of my biggest things. And I'm really excited about like through pursuing music is like traveling. Mm -hmm. Traveling is like one of my biggest hobbies. I've traveled like considerably a lot mm -hmm. my whole life. And I feel like teleporting would just make that so much easier. You know, like I wake up like, mm, kind of want like some baguettes right now. I'm gonna go to France real quick. Big know? facts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, that'd be incredible. That'd be incredible. Being so, yeah. but I resonate with that so, so much because I like, I spend most of my life driving because mm -hmm. Like everything is far from me, so teleporting would just what? fix that in a second. In a second, you would save so much money too. And planes. I, and I think like when people ask the question, if you had like if you could have superpower, what would it be? Mm -hmm. If you don't say teleportation, you better have a good answer. Like yeah, this, like, seriously. What would your power be? No te teleportation teleporting. for sure. Okay. Come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I agree. If I could teleport, you probably would have had bubblegum ice cream. Oh, uh, exactly. Like, you see what I'm. Exactly. Uh, no, for sure. It, it help, no, it helps. It helps it all.